also proud to stand here and tell you that I am the son of a union organizer. My mother, as a young Blue Ridge woman in the 1930s, courageously joined the fight to organize a union in a textile mill in western North Carolina. The struggle then was sometimes bloody and often violent. And I am proud to say that she continued in that struggle and remained a proud union worker until she retired in 1976. And that struggle is far from over. Long the struggle and hard the fight. Tonight in America, 44% of all homeless adults are employed, but they do not make enough money to live on. This fact is disgustingly laughable. The great socialist American poet Carl Sandburg said, the people laugh. Yes, the people laugh. They have to in order to live and survive under lying politicians, lying racketeers of business, lying newspapers, lying ads. The people laugh even at lies that cost them toil and bloody exactions. For a long time the people may laugh until the day when the laughter changes key and tone and has something it didn't have before. Then there is a scurrying and the noise of discussion <coughs> and an asking of the question what is it the people want? Time goes by and the gains are small. The years go slow. The people go slow. Yet the gains can be counted. And the laughter of the people for telling revolution carries fear to those who wonder how far it will go. The human spirit will not be denied. <coughs> the struggle of workers will not be denied. And let me tell you something, friends. Cesar Chavez is alive tonight and walking in the vineyards organizing the farm workers. Joe Hill is alive tonight. <coughs> he is in the copper mines and the coal mines organizing the workers. Woody Guthrie is alive tonight singing and organizing in the union halls of America. And we will join the struggle with them. They are calling for us to stand in solidarity. <coughs> solidarity now and solidarity forever. So now, I ask you to stand with me in solidarity. Protestant and Catholic, Jew and Muslim, Hindu and Buddhist agnostic and atheist, <coughs> let us stand together in solidarity. And I ask you to contemplate the words of this prayer as we pray together. Most holy and loving creator, <coughs> make us mindful of the America we have not been. Give us the courage to stand up. 
Let us be mindful in this holy season of Advent that in each one of us you have planted the seed of your light. <coughs> Let us bear fruit that we are impregnated with your love and your mercy. And as we wait in the darkness, let us be the light that leads the world to many mangers. Bless the workers tonight. And let us remember that all that we have, all that we eat, all that we wear, the houses we live in, the cars that we drive, come from the labor and the toil of our brothers and sisters. And let us work for a culture that provides equal pay and equal benefits, regardless of a worker's politics, religion, gender, or sexual identity. We pray this in the name of the holy vagabond, the great radical, and the first socialist, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to close. They're going to pass out candles for you. And I'm reminded of a song that some of you might remember that says, Little Sisters of the World, lit candles in the rain. They fed the world on oats and raisins. Candles in the rain. We can live as sisters and brothers. Candles in the rain. Men must work together. Candles in the rain. Amen. We shall all